my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as Four Kids at One Four Seven, and I'm going to do another little whip and chat today. But I'm going to do um, it a little bit different because I'm not actually working on a diamond painting as such. So, um, if you've seen my unboxing for this, I did get a colour card. Um, which is actually printed on the same sort of canvas that many diamond paintings come from. Um, and then they have a sticky strip. In fact, let me show you one that's not been touched. So this is how it came with a sticky strip of double-sided tape for you to add diamonds onto for the colours. And in fact, I pulled that out from like the middle of nowhere. Okay. <laughs> get it back in the right place so I did do some of this um, in the garden the other week when it did arrive and I've sort of stuck diamonds on it now I know some people somebody did say that they'd stuck four square diamonds and four round diamonds probably would have been a good idea if I'd have done that when I started but I didn't um, I just did square so I'm going to stick with just doing square and um, this also tells me of course any colours that I don't have um, which is quite handy so I can look at a glance and tell I may or may not get a second one for rounds um, rounds I don't tend to do as much with because I use my spares for a heaven and earth design and I'm planning on potentially doing another one um, I, I find that it's the squares I'm more interested in what I do and don't have than the rounds however that may change if I decide to do a project with rounds uh, spare round diamonds and then I'm sure the whole thing will change um, but for now I'm just doing it on squares so that first sheet is completed as far as my own stash goes um, and I was part way through the second sheet so I thought we'll continue with that now while I am doing squares I do have both my heaven and earth design diamonds here because um, those of course aren't in my spare diamond stash and then I have my spare diamonds. Now I have had a little bit of a rearrange with these, um, I was running out of space um, but I do have a video coming up on that um, but I've currently got the 100s to 600s out because that is where I'm sort of up to. I'm up to number 452 at the moment on here. So I thought we will do the whip and chat while I'm doing this. There's something a little bit of a, a change. It's not major interesting in the fact that I'm just placing eight diamonds, but let's see how it goes. So let me grab a small little tray. I've just grabbed a pen. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need wax, but we'll find out. Um, so first off, I am sort of checking briefly whether it is one that I have in my heaven and earth designs uh, because that just saves me flipping through the box. Um, but 452 isn't in that, so the question is, do I have it in here? Uh, 452. So here we go. I do have some 452 in square. Now it doesn't have the piece of paper in this one and I was, when I was sat outside I was sort of tucking the piece of paper in to make sure they stand up and stuff and I was neatening them, neatening them as I went along but I've not got any pre-cut so for now we'll just leave the diamonds as they are. So we're on 452. Now there is quite often um, you can find that there's quite often a couple of different shades of one colour because you know the dye lots between companies can vary um, they can even vary between times of you getting paintings from the same company the only colour that always tends to be the same no matter what is black <laughs> but apart from that um, you do find that it varies from company to company just using my straightening tool to sort of shuffle them about and, and get them looking nice. Um, I tended to just pick the one that looked closest to this colour, but we all know there's variations and it is going to be different. 
so 453 see here 453 I already have two completely different colors in here so when I'm looking at the sheet this one is closer so I'm going to use this one to put on my sort of self-made DMC chart and then oh okay I think I do need more wax because I don't think this is picking them up properly and then we'll just place another eight sort of scooting them about with my pen if I need to get them to move over a little bit because sometimes they like to move on double sided tape and sometimes they don't but I'm hoping this will then give me the option to maybe match up some of the um, colours mainly in round I don't think I've had a square painting yet that hasn't come with DMC numbers but I've definitely had round ones so the hope is that this will help me to match those up so 469 is the next one and that actually is one that I have in my heaven and earth designs now while it's only eight diamonds I am allowing myself to use them for this unless I go to the pot and it is extremely um, light on the colour and I think I have ended up with a different couple of different shades in this one this one is actually a different shade so I'm actually going to move that one out of the way so that my little eight block looks more similar I think I'm just going to have to tip a few more out while I've got a couple of shades in there so I think I'm using this darker one yeah say so there is there is still a slight variance in fact I think that one's different as well I'm just moving the sticky out the way that's because I may need to push it back if I find that I don't have a colour where's my pick up pen I'm going to use my pick up pen from found cells when I've actually lost a bit in the end. That'll teach me. So I push that end piece back in, it just sits back in. But I can then use that to pick them up. That or you wet your finger. But it was there, so let's use it. Okay, 469, then we've got 470. I will get on to all your questions very shortly. So 470 is in here. And this is one that I've obviously not touched for a while because it has separate bags. And I've since just been combining all my diamonds into one bag. Now the colours are off on the printing compared to the actual colours. Um, even ones where I have multiples of them. It is just, you know, it's not exact. It's not like a DMC floss chart. Um, if you get one of those, that will give you, you know, they come with DMC threads attached to them. So they, they do come with the true, true colour. But this works for my purposes. And it's another little project. Okay, 471. That is a Heaven and Earth Designs colour. we'll get those on watch me not have um, the colour that I don't have to show you while I'm working on this okay I think I've got a couple of different colours in this as well only ever so slightly and you only notice when they're right next to each other other than that I can't really tell the difference between the two of these is a very very slight change between the two of them one is a little bit more of a dusty color than the other one is that one the same yeah um, now you can buy these charts with the diamonds and they'll send you one of each one of each color but 
I don't need any more spares. <laughs> I really don't. Um, you know, there are a few that I need for my heaven and earth designs, but really, in the grand scheme of things, there are a lot of colours that I just don't need. Um, I don't need to increase my spare stash. I will fill these gaps over time and they'll get filled up soon enough. So while I am filling in these, let me have a look. Now there's not been as many questions asked, which of course just varies. And I think I may have got two collars in this one as well. Do you know what? I'm just gonna leave it. Because at the end of the day, it's, it's a matter of getting the overall sense of the colour. Or is that going to annoy me? I think that's going to annoy me. This one here is a slightly, ever so slightly different shade. And in my, while doing my Heaven and Earth Designers tree, I will probably not notice the difference at all. Because of course there'll be other colours in between. But while I'm doing this, I'm noticing. And I've not laid those straight for love no money. Okay. So, yes, yeah, let's go to the questions. So, um, one of the questions that get asked gets asked quite a bit um, is how do I work out the size of my canvas for my heaven and earth designs? So for those that don't know, I am doing a heaven and earth design, which is a cross stitch pattern as a diamond painting on a blank canvas. And I'm using my spares to do it. Primarily, I have bought the odd color um, that there's been a lot of and I don't have a lot of spares, but primarily it is being done with my spare diamonds because I have so many um, and that they need a home. Um, so, a lot of times people do ask, how do I work out the sizing? Now, the sizing is quite easy to work out um, in that each square diamond is 2.5 millimeters across. Is it 2.5 millimeters? Yeah. So, um, basically what you do on the heaven and earth designs they will tell you how many stitches your pattern is across and how many stitches it is, it is down so you take the number of stitches across for example 400 and times them by 0 0.25 and that will give you how many centimeters of course you may need to round it up if it gives you a 0.75 you'll need to round it up and you're gonna have one spare square at the edge of your canvas um, because they only work in round figures. Sorry if you can hear somebody doing building work in one of the gardens. Um, but yeah, you times each side by 0 0.25 and that will give you um, the size of your painting or the camp blank canvas that you need. So that is to answer that question. Let me place these ones and then I will have a look at what the next one is. But yeah, my Heaven and Earth Designs, I don't think I've worked on it since our last Whip and Chat. Um, I will be working on it. I just have so many different projects and so many different things to do Whip and Chats on. Um, I am going to keep the Heaven and Earth Design ones up, of course. Um, but I do also want to vary it up as well for those that aren't interested in the Heaven and Earth Designs and maybe want to see be working on something different. Okay, 501, that one is in my Heaven and Earth Designs. So I will, let me take all that off. If I need to put it back on, I'll fight with it. Um, okay, next question. Have I done a mystery canvas yet? Um, no, I have had one in my basket um, 
the, there wasn't any particular reason that I didn't order it, i.e. it wasn't the company or anything I'd written or anything like that, anything I'd read. Um, I just have quite a few unboxings that have started to come through at the moment and I have a few orders that are, as should we say, stuck, <laughs> stuck in the delivery service um, or, or are very slow on actually being sent out and of course this one is one that I don't have so what I've done when I don't have the colour is I've left the top cover of this on there and then I've just used my craft knife to score along it as long as you do it lightly so you're only covering the top and then I've taken that off and then if there's any excess glue I've also just been trimming and peeling that off as well just because they're not as neat as me when they put the double sided tape on um, so yeah mystery diamond painting not yet um, if any of you have any companies that you've used and they've been good that would be great um, somebody did mention that it would be good for my advent calendar so I did an advent calendar on December last year um, from the 1st to the 24th and I just used the canvas that I had but I do agree if I'd have had more forward planning it would have been a very good idea to do that with um, a mystery canvas and that is what I am thinking of doing this coming December. You know, providing nothing happens that prevents me from it, I am thinking of doing a mystery canvas for that. So I think that is also part of the reason, just getting rid of the overhang of the double-sided tape here before I start. Um, that is partly the reason why I've not been in a rush to get one because I will want one for my December project so it's something that if I wait a couple more months and then order I can use it for my advent calendar um, so yeah I've not done one yet but it is definitely something that I want to do um, even if I you know don't find the image to be wow or maybe you know something that is what I class as my cup of tea um, I just like the idea of the fact that you don't know what it is. Um, yes, it pleases me. So I will be doing one at some point. So I'm now still on the 500s. I'm on 503 at the moment. Um, and I'm doing pretty well with having spares in general of most colours. That's what happens when you've been diamond painting for two years and save all your spares you will find um, that you will end up with diamonds for many colours which is good should you ever run out or my daughter's friend ran out of a colour the other day and I was able to send them off to her in the post so that she could finish her painting which was good okay 504 now 504 I only have in rounds now if I'd have done half and half with these paintings that would have worked well but I didn't so I'm just using my nail to just line it up against the square diamonds and then I'm going to use that as my edge to cut off the top coat and then I'm just going to cut lightly, it's only a small section so I can keep it pretty straight just doing it by eye um, but I just want to cut through the top coat, I don't want to cut through the whole canvas, that could be messy. Um, but yeah to show you on the previous ones, I mean there's a few on here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight colours that I didn't have on that top sheet and Oh, eight on each. So it's actually been eight on each of these sheets that I've not had. Um, some of them I have had the round rather than the square. 
but it's not a biggie. I, I don't think anyway, not, not for the reason that I'm doing it, but I do like the idea of doing half and half. I just don't want to go through and undo everything I've already done. Um, so I may order a second, second blank one of these to put my rounds on. And then in effect, I'd have like a, an inventory, a stock of each. I'm not sure. Okay, so what did we say? 504, I've not got. 505, I don't have either. And then we go to 517, which I do have in my Heaven and Earth designs. So what I actually need to do is cut again here. And that's so that I can start to peel up the tape from here and leave those two spaces for me to fill in after. Um, oh, somebody did ask for the diameter of the pipe lagging that I use. Now, I'm trying to think which one I've got handy. So most of my pipe lagging now is on paintings that I've completed. And I did actually have to pinch one out of a diamond painting the other day because the cues at B and Q have been a bit ridiculous. So bear with me while I find a painting that has one in it. Okay, found one. So one of my Alice in Wonderland still has the pipe lagging on it um, and they asked for the diameter. So what's gonna be the easiest way to do this? I was trying to see if I had a shorter ruler, but I don't in front of me. So in inches, it is about one, about one and a half inches in diameter. And the inside part is just over half an inch. So just to measure, so I'm, what I'm measuring is all the way across on the inside there and then the inside part there. So that is about one and a half inches and that is about half an inch. So hopefully that'll help you to find something. Um, say if you don't have the likes of pipe lagging in the country that you're in, um, pool, pool noodles are used quite often. However, I find they're a lot bigger. Um, which is why I prefer the pipe plugin. And when I get to B and Q, I manage to get some more. I will of course show you when I'm working on a bigger painting. I will do it as part of a kitting up. So that was a bit of a sidetrack, wasn't it? Pipe lagging. Um, but yeah, I I find it's it's really useful for working on large paintings. It keeps the canvas, you know, protected, rolled up, out the way. Oh, that's a completely different colour. Well, I say completely. It's it's not hugely, but for the purposes of this, I want them to all pretty much be the same shading so that I can use them as a guide. I, sorry about that, my memory card filled up. So let's keep the view higher up for a little bit. Say so I am just placing a row of eight diamonds each time. Not sure if I've tipped enough out. This is the only thing, it is time consuming and a lot of the time consuming part of diamond painting is the tipping out of the diamonds to use and the putting them back. So this is a project that I am just doing over time. When I feel like doing some diamond painting but maybe don't have a lot of time or I'm in the mood for a change. So at the moment I'm working on a big round painting um, and I've been doing some of the small home fun paintings that I've got in between just to sort of break up from doing round, go to square and also just so that I don't get bored of such a big painting. Um, 
I don't want to end up completing it and not liking it because it took so long. Um, okay, 519. So, yeah, this is sort of a nice little project. I don't think I would want to sit here and do this until it was finished. But I do, of course, at some point want it done, which is why I thought we'll do a bit on a whip and chat. Um, but yeah, the idea of doing both round and square, if you're just starting this, would be a very good idea. And what I would do is I would potentially score and um, get a ruler and, and use a knife to score this this top coat of the double sided tape all the way down so that you could peel off either side um, depending on what you had of each colour but I'm doing it the awkward way okay next question Okay, so somebody did ask, where is the best place to get diamond paintings in the UK? Um, now, sorry for those that are abroad, this is UK specific. Um, I haven't ordered from many companies in the UK yet. Now, the emphasis is on the word yet. Um, there's been a couple more painted or companies that have popped up. Um, or at least come to my attention. They've probably been around for a lot longer. Um, but there are two companies that have come to my attention. However, due to um, the COVID-19 pandemic and everything that's been going on, um, their times have been slower. So while I do want to order from them, I don't want any unboxing I do on YouTube to be unfair. Um, so I want the companies to be at normal operation so that you know I can explain how long it is that it's taken to get here and all the rest of it and and be true to that um, so those two companies are Row Diamonds which is R-O-W-E and Windsor Windsor Craft think it is or is it Windsor Art? I think it's Windsor Crafts. Um, I think they're both on Facebook if I remember rightly. I'm not sure if they do have websites as well um, but they are two companies that I will be trying out at some point once everything's back up and running. I think they do get their supplies in from China um, you know and then they you know they do I'm, I'm pretty sure at least one of them if not two of them print their own canvases and things but of course they get the stock of the diamonds um, for them to then divvy up they get those from China I think don't hold me to that um, and I think they've had some shortage of that stuff so I want to wait and see of course how quick they are when everything's back to normal so that I can give them a fair review um, but I have used crystal card kits um, they're UK based and I'm pretty sure that there's I don't know if they're manufactured in the UK or whether they're manufactured somewhere else but it's for them so they only sell their company's images and paintings and stuff on canvases or at least I think that's the case um, their shipping has been affected but only by a day or two because they hold all the stock that they've got on their website so if you want somewhere UK that you can get quite quickly at the moment I would probably go with Crystal Card Kit um, because I have tried them and it has arrived in a couple of days um, but if um, but if you don't mind waiting, then I have heard good things about both Bro Diamonds and Windsor Arts, I think it is. Um, I have heard good things about both of those. Apart from that, I don't really know any others. There was another UK company, but they moved out to the Philippines. So I don't want to recommend them as a UK company because they no longer are. Um, 
they're the only ones that I know of if anybody knows of any more um, please let me know because I do want to review local as well as of course reviewing those that come from China and further afield because of course I have viewers from all over the world so I want to keep mixing it up and that's why I mean AliExpress you know yes the shipping times have been longer and stuff um, but that's easy to explain and understand I don't want to introduce a new company and be having a problem with their shipping times or with a delay I don't think it's a fair reflection of a company at the moment um, okay and then the last question I've got written down before I start going into potential waffle is did I get the canvas and the beads together for my heaven and earth designs so my heaven and earth design image that I'm doing as I say was a cross stitch chart that I'm doing on a blank canvas no I didn't get them together but that is because I am doing that with my spare diamonds so I'm doing my heaven and earth designs with spare diamonds so all these have come from previous kits there is two or three shades in this one as well um, but I picked a cross stitch chart that would allow me to use a couple of shades and not look bad um, I didn't pick a cross stitch image for example with a face that may have shading um, and therefore would need the shading to be right um, for you to get the tones of their face it would need to move from one to another and if you had different shading in with that it could look very bitty um, I picked a design that was very forgiving on shades being slightly different which is why I went for max colour and it's why I went for an image say max colour was so you know I could spread my spares that I would need over as many different colour variants as possible um, and I went for the large canvas because it would it would use more diamonds and not show up as much and yeah and um, there's a reason I picked the one I did and, and that is the reason so yeah that is I think all the questions that I had on the last video or I had noted down from potentially the Facebook group or that I'd seen about but yeah um, what have I got coming up so let me think what videos are coming up because today I, I've only I've only actually just recorded one video today before doing this whip and chat um, so I need to think of what videos are scheduled to go up and also what videos I'm planning on doing um, so that you guys will be able to see various stuff so I do have quite a few kitting up videos with coming up for my small home fun designs so have I got a canvas handy where have I put them here's one so I've got all these small designs that I unboxed recently from Home Fun. Um, I am doing kitting up videos with these um, and I'm kitting most of them up into the small storage. This isn't this one, this is the tulips. Um, so I'm going to be doing kitting up videos with those. I'm also going to be doing de-kitting videos with those um, because they are a, a couple of the more favourite videos the ones that people like to watch while they're doing a load of diamond painting and um, so I'll be doing kitting up and de-kitting with those I think I've got some more unboxings um, a few different items that I've picked up mainly from AliExpress I'm hoping to have some more items start appearing next week uh, a couple of items have hit the UK so um, I'm hoping to get more deliveries next week which will show up in the next coming weeks um, 
I reorganise my spares and spread them into more tubs. So I do have a video on that coming up. Oh, we've definitely got two different colours on this one. Okay, I'm going to go for the darker one of the two because the lighter one actually looks more like 553. It's possibly either a mistake on my part or a mistake on a company's part when kitting it up. Um, what else am I planning on doing? I need to do a heaven and earth design start to finish which I know a lot of people want um, the, the, that has the planning has started on that one but it is going to be one that's going to take um, a few different steps I think to make it come together and make sense so that one you might be waiting a bit longer for but it will be coming what else is it I want to do so oh a canvas or so a poured glue canvas that you know comes with its come it tends to sometimes they come folded up and um, sometimes the folds come out of them really easy and sometimes they don't so I am going to test ironing one of those I'm going to give it a go um, and see how that works Ooh. So that's another one that I want to do. There's, there's loads of ones that I want to do that involve, you know, purchasing something to then do a video on it. And I'm trying not to until I've got through a list. Um, a list of things that people have asked for or things that I know I definitely want to do that don't involve purchasing something to do it. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to stop myself from buying stuff to do things. So I want to do, um, you know, a way of storing completed paintings that are smaller. Um, you know, so that you can do them and you can still look at them, enjoy them, but you're not just throwing them under your bed. Um, I want to do that. I want to do a storage video, but my sister-in-law has some of one of my storage, so... We'll see how that goes. Once, once lockdown is done, um, if she's finished with the storage, I'll be able to get that one done a bit sooner. But yeah, there's loads of ideas buzzing around. If there is any videos you do want to see, please let me know. Um, you know, I am always trying to make sure that I've got variety as well as videos that people enjoy watching like the kittings and kittings up even if they happen constantly um, I'm trying to make sure that I can do all of those oh I want to do the sealer as well so I got some sealer from um, craft body or crystal crystal arts crafts is it um, I got some sealer from them. I want to give that a go on a painting. I just don't have enough hours in the day, people. It's, it's the long and the short of it. Um, but I want to try my best to keep up with these whip and chats, even if they are just small. Just little extras. Let you know where we're up to. What my plans are. What's coming up and to give you chance, guys chance to answer, ask questions and get answers which isn't always necessarily in response to a YouTube comment. Um, I want you to be able to, you know, sometimes for me to describe the response. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave this whip and chat here because I don't know what else to waffle about. Um, and I've come to a colour that I no longer have. So that's the top section that I've just done. So I am up to 562. So I do have a few more pages. Um, this is page three and there are 10 pages um, that they've given us in this. So I will potentially do some more of this on a whip and chat in the future. Um, and of course, once this is done, um, 
I might try and see if I can match up some of my multitudes of, of round diamonds that don't have um, a colour with them. I might, you know, I want to get this done so that I can see how that works and if it's feasible. Um, though there is somebody in my Facebook group who, um, in her work, there is there's a lady um, who likes to just create her own patterns with with spare diamonds. Um, so I'm potentially going to send some to her as well. Um, but I want to be able to get the video done, um, and then. You know, if it works, great. If it doesn't, I've definitely got somewhere to send them to. Um, if it works, I can do the video and then I might just decide to let some go anyway. Um, because, as I say, I don't use rounds as much. So, I'm up to the third, um, third set of my colour cards with diamonds on. But I think they look pretty. I say it's not for everybody um, it's not something you need to do but I do think it will be a handy and a nice reference for me to have um, for all the colours that I've got and then I will just get a sort of clip so you can get big long strip clips I think I'm just going to get those to, ha to house this um, nice strong piece of card on the back probably just a clear cover on the front to stop them catching any dust and then I've got them to flip through and it will tell me what spares I have um, but also what colour they look like but yeah we'll see how it goes I'm sure I'll keep you updated on a future whip and chat but thank you so much for joining me and I'll speak to you all again soon